Hey guys. guys! I'm Sarah. And I'm Jonathan. And together we have a podcast called Esoteric Oddities. Where we talk about all things macabre. And also true crime, UFOs, and paranormal. Basically everything dark and dreadful. We're here today to spike your fall season with four festive drinks that can also be used for Halloween. Or your enemy's funeral. <laughs> Our first drink is called the Poison Apple. So this is going to be the ingredients for about one drink, so if you want to make two or more, you just kind of like double up. Or triple up if you had a bad day at work. So we're going to start with about six ounces of apple cider. Followed by one ounce of caramel vodka. Then I'm going to toss in two ounces of fireball. Smells like heaven, burns like hell, am I right? Like the devil. And then a splash of cranberry juice for your UTI. It's UT die for. <laughs> and then we are going to shake it. Would you hold my glass? Sure. And serve. And now that looks like a UTI. <laughs> Cheers. You know what they say, apples to apples, dust to dust. No? Our next drink is pumpkin spiked latte. So first you're gonna need about one cup of black brewed then chilled coffee. Two ounces of rum chata. Then you're gonna be needing about 1.5 ounces. We're gonna do two ounces of pumpkin pie vodka. And some sugar. Wh oh. <laughs> some sugar. <laughs> Stir it. Add a little bit of whipped cream to the top. Top it with some cinnamon. Pumpkin spiced latte. Do you know what I love about the fall? What? The leaves change color. Do you know what I love about the fall? What? When the body hits the ground. Our next drink is Witch's Potion. So you're gonna start with about six to eight ounces of pineapple juice. Three ounces of melon liquor. Liqueur. Liqueur, sorry. It's okay, don't let it happen again. Because then we're gonna do about two to three ounces. We're gonna do about two to three ounces, two to three ounces of white rum. Uh, we're using coconut rum, which in my opinion tastes a little bit better in this concoction. And then we're gonna do a half ounce of fresh lime juice. We squeezed it ourselves. We sure did, into this bottle. And then you're gonna take about a half a teaspoon, maybe a little bit more, of food grade edible luster. And don't forget your luster. This is gonna make that really shiny and green. I, it's a little bit more than anticipated, but... Uh, we're overachievers here. And we're gonna shake it. And then Sarah, where are we gonna pour it? Into this Ellen Mayer flask. <laughs> Into our Erlen Meyer flask. <laughs> and now you've got your witch's potion. Did you take chemistry in high school? No, I um, wasn't smart enough. Okay, well I was gonna say, we don't seem to have much chemistry. That's a lie. So our last drink is called the Banshee Breeze. In a glass, we're gonna do one part cranberry juice. What's a part? I don't know. <laughs> Two parts pineapple juice. That looks about it. Then we're gonna do one ounce of triple sec. One ounce of blue Krakow. One ounce of blue Sirocco. One ounce of blue Sircoco. One ounce of blue Sarah Simon. I think it's Sirocco. One ounce of Sirocco. Then we're gonna do two ounces of vodka. And just a little bit of grenadine, it'll give it that nice purple look. And then you're gonna stir it on up. Oh. 
Look at that. Heck yes. Wow, love that. You can add several chips of dry ice to give it that wow factor. It'll make it smoke like a witch's cauldron. But we don't have the budget for that. So. Subscribe. Patreon. Dot com. At Esoteric Oddities. Please. This is good. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to tune in to Esoteric Oddities Podcast. We are on iTunes, Spotify, and Stitcher. We put out episodes weekly, and if you want bonus content, head on over to patreon.com slash esoteric oddities. Thanks for watching. Happy, Happy Halloween. Halloween. Jinx. Kill me a pitchfork. <coughs> Love that. Oh my god, my <laughs> busted it! <laughs> <laughs> so it sits that way. Oh. Bye guys.